बसमिल हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द पी एल थ्री हंड्रेड एग्जाम प्रपरेशन सीरीज वेयर वी आर एक्सप्लोरिंग द थर्ड लर्निंग पाथ विजुअलाइज एंड एनालाइज द डेटा इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर द टॉपिक अप्लाई एंड कस्टमाइज अ थीम विच इज़ पार्ट ऑफ द सेक्शन क्रिएट रिपोर्ट्स इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैड अ लुक एट द रिपोर्ट पेज कन्फिग्रेशन एंड वंस वी हैव कन्फिगर द रिपोर्ट पेज then the next step is to apply and customize a color theme so let's go to the power bi desktop environment and see how we can apply and customize a color theme before we go and look at the customization of the color theme first let's go and see what is a color theme so if i go to the area can canvas background i see an area which says color and if i just click here on the color i am going to see a palette a color palette that pops up so this is what we call as the color theme and you see that there are theme colors so these are the colors the the colors which are shown in this part these are your theme colors and based on these theme colors the rest of the colors are generated so the default colors are white and black so these are the default colors other than these all the other colors are configurable so you can configure any of these colors or customize any of these colors and if you could just see that the colors which are generated here are just a different shade or the colors with a different contrast to the to the theme color so we are going to uh, have a look at how we can customize this theme but just remember this point that wherever you are going to find an option of color this theme is going to appear so whatever changes you make to your team you are going to get the same values that uh, that that you see inside this color palette so in order to customize your, the theme we need to go into the view option here and in this option you are going to see an area which say, says themes so let me just expand this area and you are going to see a set of themes which are already available so if you have a look at these themes these actually define the colors that i just showed you in the theme color so you are going to get these theme colors and then obviously the rest of the colors are generated based on these some in some of the themes even the background color like this one like this one and this one in some of the in some of the uh, these uh, themes you are going to see that the background color is also included as part of the theme but this is one way of change of actually changing the theme uh, or customizing the theme but the, these are the themes which are the, available by default inside the power bi environment so now let's go and see how we can customize a theme so if you have a theme already with we have a default theme we can just come here in and click on this option and we can customize the current theme and it is going to it is going to open up a window where you can see the eight colors that i just talked about so these are the eight colors you can just go and select any of the colors you can either select it manually from this option you can give the rgb values or even you can give the uh, hex code for for these so it is possible to give the values for all of these through all of these options you can also uh, give a name to this theme uh, if you want Uh, because we can we can save this theme so let me just give it a a, a name uh, let's say pl300 theme i just want to give it a name pl300 theme and then you have a few other colors so these are the colors that we are going to explore in some of the visualizations that some specific visualizations have sentiment colors and we also have divergent colors but those are specific to certain visualizations so even for those visualizations the default color for the sentiment and the divergent colors you can come and you can change these values here so let me just quickly pick up some random color here uh, just for the sake of completion and let me just change this color to let's say a green color and now i have already given it a name and now just let me click on apply so once i do that now i am going to come back to my color canvas background option again and here you can see that this was the color that i changed and this was the color that i changed so now my color palette has actually changed so wherever i find this option of color so let me go and do this in the wallpaper option 
and in the wallpaper option you are again going to see that the, the same modified color palette i am seeing here in this area and it, for any option in any of the visualization i'm going to see the same effect next i would go in the same themes area and i'm going to explore another option which says save current theme so now i am going to just click here on this save current theme and this theme is actually saved as a json file or a json document so i can give a name to this file and i can save this file so let me just save this file as a json file so here i have saved this as color theme and i'm going to click on save and now i am going to go and just open that json file because that is a simple json file and it can be opened in any text editor so let me just do that so here you can see that i have opened this json file in a notepad and let me just expand this and you can see that this was the name that i gave once i was working inside power bi so this was the name of that i gave to the theme and now these are the colors the eight colors the hex code for the eight colors that i have for my color theme so i can come here and i can manually actually change these colors if i want so there are two ways i can either do that inside of power bi but maybe there is a scenario that I, I have created a theme and i want to share it with some of the other developers so the easiest way of doing it is that i should come i should save that theme and then i can save uh, share this uh, color theme file with somebody else but what i am going to do here here is that i am going to change a few things here and then i am going to show you that how we can actually import this theme in the power bi environment so let me make some quick changes here so let me just change this to b7 and let me just make make this as 44 so i have just changed the two colors and now i am going to say okay file and save and now i'm going to go back into the power bi environment so i'm back inside the power bi environment desktop environment and now i am going to look at another option which says browse for themes so now i am going to actually look for the file that i actually just saved so i have this is the file that i actually saved and made a few changes and then i am going to click on open and after a few seconds it is going to give me a message that your theme has been successfully imported so now i've got this message so it says that the file has been successfully added and your theme is ready to use so now i am going to go back into the color area and here you can see that this were these were probably the colors that i actually played with and now these colors have been changed so you can see that there are multiple ways of creating a theme customizing a theme then actually making changes to that theme saving that theme then even making a changes inside the json file of the theme and then imported it back into the power bi desktop environment so you should be familiar with all of these options and just remember that for the themes that once you have a theme then this theme is available in all the areas where you have the color you can change the color as part of any visualization you can still go and change that but it is not going to change the theme itself the theme would only be changed the through the options that i just showed you so this was all about the theme customization though so this is again a very important part as part of the power bi development there are multiple ways that how you should design a theme but that is beyond the scope of this particular course uh, so that's all for this particular video and I will catch up with you in the next one.